in the last video uh, we discussed how we can extend the sourcing functionality with extra details right so in this video what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create something similar to the demo flam and demo site i hope you have visited this site so here is uh, something uh, related to the filters if i try this automatically the filters applies to these widgets right so we are going to create this in this video and for this i have also an written article for on this so if you want you can check out i'll put it in the link put the link so uh, before starting so what i want to do is thank you for everyone uh, for your support and for voting especially <laughs> And here, uh, these these were the main projects that you want me to create. But some people are suggesting some system, and some are suggesting some systems. So I have just created the board, and so this board will be uh, continued to up to May 15. And I think from May 15, I will be creating the system. I will work on this part. So after that, voting is always on and i will go with the highest board system and the thing is whatever be the system uh, we'll just try to make the production level system right because uh, so let's get back to our video uh, so first of all what we are going to do is we need to create a custom page right we are not we cannot uh, customize this dashboard page because this is inside the filament vendor package so it's it's default page so now to create it it's just a simple command uh, i can just make name is make filament page dashboard uh my panel is admin so i'll choose admin i don't need resource that's it so if i go here you can see i have now dashboard if i just refresh it yeah it changed this right the icon but the thing that i want is just to uh modify only the forms right uh, and widget so i don't want to have new icon or new anything i just i will just extend the default dashboard page i don't know why uh, but it's not suggesting me properly oh okay let me just go to my admin panel and let me just paste from here uh, not this where is the pages dashboard maybe yeah um, use okay this will be my dashboard on this point type yeah uh, i just need to okay use filament should be there uh, actually auto importing is not working on my site I need to check this okay so now what I have done is I have just extended the old dashboard page everything is this now so that I don't need to have any issues for me so after that the thing that we need to do is now the new dashboard page this is not my new dashboard page now the new dashboard page is just remove this I think due to copilot also I'm facing some issue and uh, let me just quickly uh, use this link uh, use this dashboard and let me just paste this dashboard class so what I have done is now I make the default dashboard page the page that is mine now this is not the uh, now this is the default dashboard page right so uh, i don't need these two widgets so i can just comment it down yeah everything is removed so now i can go here now to use the forms the first thing that we need to use the trait right so for, uh, the trait is here has filter forms straight let me try if it 
okay i'm sorry but still i don't know uh just go to filament dashboard uh, let me just remove this man filament dashboard slash consum slash as filter farm that's it so now now what we can do is we can create our own form right let me just zoom in and uh, remove this part so to create the form it's the same thing that we used to do in the resource the name is filters form this is this is should be the name of the method and we'll pass the filament form here and then section dead picker and dead picker have i used import no okay let me just import manually everything filament form filament f o r forms okay and then use filament forms form right okay this has no use after that it's section okay use filament forms components and then section let me just copy this uh, one time and then remove this and it should be dead picker and similarly use filament forms get that's it so let me just explain it the code so th we have the section and i have the start date and in date here you can see maximum date i have just uh, in date right just and then because without if there is in date then there cannot be the it cannot exceed that date for start date and for the end date the minimum date should be the start date if i just refresh this page yeah i got this now you can see i cannot move more than there further than the today's date if i go one and it will me just make me up to there right and everything you can see here in the url too let me clear this and let me clear this now the we have our own custom dashboard page we have our own filter forms now the thing that we need to do is why is this columns three i don't know let me just make it two right okay so now the thing for dashboard page is finished now let's move towards the uh, wizards process so first of all let me quickly uh, create the widget so for now that i will be using starts overview widget right make uh widgets uh, to create the widget i just forgot the command let me quickly check start overview widget filament okay let me just paste it and let me say so for me it's, it will be like cell invoice overview let's see now cell purchase overview let's say purchase overview right let me enter it i don't need resource i need in the admin panel yeah so here i have this and if i will just try to copy these things and that's it now i have the wizards right but the thing that we want is not this right so now to work with the filter forms we need to use a trait here too so let me just use that trait here use uh, interacts with page filter uh, it's not suggesting me so bad of this uh, where is this use as filter forms and here you can see use interacts right let me just paste it here that's it page filters okay yeah i got this uh, here also you can choose that so to get those method it's very easy so i can just uh i can have the 
dollar this filters i can access that with uh, like this start date and similarly for in date it can be like in date Uh, did a dollar start date okay. dollar in date okay that's it and let me just oh okay okay here you can see i got the empty values because i don't have anything here right if i cl try this you can see now i am getting that value so what do I, we are going to do is let me just note here oh no 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 if there is no start date we will show the details up to now today's month uh, details of today's month meaning that if there is filter it's okay we'll work on that if there is no filter we need the value of today's month right so uh, we can use the ternary but no because if you see here if you have if Ref let me just refresh uh, let me just remove this and let me just refresh. you can see i got an empty string so to check that what i can do is if empty right if start date is empty then i can use today's month right carbon okay i think i need to import manually sorry carbon carbon to mm, now and i can say start of uh, month there is a method which you can see reset the dates to the first day of the month so i can use this else if there is no i just need that but uh, still i will just try to parse that details so that it will be on easier for us to query with date filter right because we will be using directly date filter so for that Similarly, let me just remove this and let me let me let me just chain it below so that it will be clear and let me just remove it and let me make it in date so we'll get in date here in date and then it's just now we don't need anything right and then else else in date so now let me do the strip press here yes here you can see now i am getting the carbon timestamp and the start date i haven't add anything right so it's the first of may and the end date is current date so that is what we want here if there is nothing so now the the only thing that we need to use is now our queries so now uh, total cells now i can open this for queries it will help me easier okay total sales equals to oh uh, yeah let me just purchase and then uh, i don't need that for example total sales i think for me the invoice is sell invoice right so for sell invoice uh, if i go to create sell invoices table and i have a total amount here so not total it should be total amount i think in purchase invoice also that is the same thing for me so yeah where between created it i am just using the where between for the date that was the reason i converted it to the carbon phase timestamp so that it will be easier for us and it's the total amount and that's it so now i can just change it to total sales change it to total purchase and okay let me just remove this for now and then the value should be total sales oh ho, 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 okay <laughs> total purchase okay purchase p u r c h a oh that's it let me refresh the page yeah so we have total sales 20 and total process is uh, zero right in this timestamp let me quickly create one purchase invoice then uh, in random test supplier uh, okay 
paracetamol okay i bought it in tablet 10 it was 100 for me and then nothing let me create this let me check my dashboard yeah i got the thousand here and i can now use the filters too okay the filters are not working okay we have missed something here we have missed something here let me just check the start and end date it's 5 1 and 5 5 okay it's checking the dd due to the timing uh, because i'm using between and then i am parsing it uh, as a current timestamp because it will be automatically 000, zero, zero. that is the case or what we can do here is end of day right and for the start uh, we can do start of day so that uh, because our it's not the invoice date it should be created it right our credit date is always the uh, date and timestamp right so let me just quickly refresh yeah and if i go back to one on a string oh my bad uh, let me just first parse it and then i can chain it and i can chain this refresh now if i go to one two five yeah i have 20 in total cells and thousand total purchases and if i quickly create a new cell invoice let's walk in customer i don't have anything nothing to work on product is citamol okay i want to sell it on box uh, let's say 12 box 1200 everything is automatically created i have total 2500 right let me create this and go to dashboard to bell 20 if i want to check from 4 to 5 it's still 2 20 if i check here yeah both are on may 5 so in this way uh, we can create the custom filters thank you